in terms of Goa, if we are talking about Goa being created into a world class destination for quality tourists, it has to be a roadmap. So we may have to have some global uh, consultants coming on board thinking about what we need. Uh, mainly we need to understand how we can attract the high spending tourists to Goa. It can't be only with what we have in offering. We will need to plan what they need and we will have to showcase things what we can attract those type of people. So in terms of infrastructure, in terms of other things, we have spoken to the tourism minister. Our chairman also has met the tourism minister and we have been <coughs> assured of enough support to take uh, Goa as a very important uh, tourism destination internationally for the good tourists coming down to Goa, which will also help us in our economy. As far as IT is concerned, we have spoken to the IT minister shared our plan of how we can take IT to the uh, Goa as an IT destination. We are looking at Goa not to be competing with Bangalore or any other state. We are not wanting Goa to be in the Silicon Valley. We are looking at Goa to go on an Estonian model or a Luxembourg model where we can think about a niche segment where IT can be looked at. We have shared our plan and asked for our support under Bharatnet, asking for also support under various infrastructures as far as the hybrid cluster is concerned. Tuhe, the electric manufacturing cluster is concerned and more projects in the pipeline. We are also looking at e-governance to happen so that the government transparency and we are a, more effectively we are able to deliver services to the people. And for all these purposes, the support and the type of uh, reciprocation given by the Union Minister Sri Ashwin, Ashwin uh, Vaishnavji was very uh, overwhelming. And I'm very, uh, I'm a strong believer that when we are very optimistic of getting things to go, what Goa needs, giving them the connectivity, giving them the co-working spaces, giving what the IT ecosystem requires, ensuring that IT also becomes a, a contributor to the Goa's GDP and also allows employment at every level, any skilled, skilled people where we have the brain drain that needs to be avoided. So a plan for which uh, IT and ITES ecosystem is concerned where it will involve jobs to all. We are targeting roughly about uh, 2,000 jobs at Purvarim. We are targeting about 10,000 jobs at Tuhe. So this will be including skilling and reskilling the people in the available resources that we have. So as we take the policies ahead, we are very happy that we, we, we have got a reciprocation with the two ministers under the able guidance of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Uh, we will definitely be able to cater to tourism and IT in a big way in uh, these months to and years to come. Sir, Minister, Dr. Pramod Sawad, we are inaugurating the online system in the presence of our uh, uh, Chairman Goa Tourism and uh, the Chief Secretary and other bureaucrats and the TTAG I think also is invited. So online system will be a part of ease of doing business for many people who are in the hotel line, water sports and other allied activities, whether it is shack or other things, where registrations will become very easy for them using the online medium. We are trying to do on end-to-end -end services so that every document which is produced through the system gets through a digi-locker until an end-to-end certificate per system madhut minar. So we are stopping the hassles of he coming and meeting any official or any person so he can do his business more than coming and going after licensing. As we take this start, we will also be following the right to time bound service act and we will ensure as per the act, if the services are not provided online, it will be as deemed approval. So services for an office made we will consider it as deemed approved. The department uh, will not have any say after that. Before that, they can ensure that those are cleared and given to them under ease of doing business. I think events like this have to happen in Goa. After COVID situation which has come into Goa and the world, there has been a lot of disconnect from the people meeting each other, socializing. Goa is a destination for tourists in domestic and international. We need events like this to show our culture, our heritage, our cuisine, our things which people of, uh, internationally wouldn't know. To attract them, Amala thoda change karao lagna. We need to have some event calendar which will be there for the year. We need to have all the events planned at the start of the year. And these events cannot be just 10 days, 15 days before. This is a continuance of the earlier government. But we need to have things in a very uh, planned manner. Every event needs to showcase our part as far as Goa and the country is concerned and the world is concerned. We need to ensure that the footfalls internationally and domestically come into Goa. And whatever we need to plan, we, that thing needs to go out. Today, digital media or newsprint, more I would say digital media is the best forum for somebody to promote the event and promote Goa in the right sense. 
as we are talking along with Ganesh Gaukar, our chairman of Goa Tourism Development Corporation, we both have ideas to take Goa to the next level of making it a world destination for tourists, a quality tourist. And for that mode, taking our culture out, taking our uh, uh, things of adventure, whether it is then whether it is medical, there is heritage. It is not only going to be a talk. It is going to be something which we are going to look at delivering in terms of infrastructure, support infrastructure and creating, as we create Goa, a safe and clean Goa. We need to ensure that we are having the right footfalls coming into Goa, who are going to have the spend also and which is going to help the economy of the state. We also need to ensure that local employment, local self-employment and local business gets an opportunity to do. This type of events give a whole ecosystem a boost. I am happy that today's spirit of Goa has taken off to start a new thing as far as this event calendar of tourism is concerned. We look forward to more events like this happening, which will not only showcase uh, the one part of it, but throughout we are able to take these events everywhere. As far as spirit of Goa is concerned, conventionally it has been showing our traditional, our kaju feni or our urrak, which are seasonal events. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to present to you the third dance, that is the Goan Kuntino. We are just presenting you the urrak and the uh, uh, feni in different forms. If you have the stalls, you have the local cuisine which people can come and look at. And Goa is definitely known as a hub for where people as foodies would come and want to enjoy good food, and drinks, have a good time and spend good money in Goa, helping the economy of the state also. So as we take things ahead, we will we'll look forward for a planned event calendar, which will be a yearly announcement, which will take care of the events throughout the year. So every event management company also who is able to take this type of work are able to showcase, reach out to the last person, the tourist, whom we would want here to come internationally or domestic and have some good fun in Goa. So as we take things ahead, I think these are the festivals which uh, mean a lot to the Goans. And I could see the, as we went around all the stalls, we could see the sense of excitement that every person had to, because we have this uh, spirit which is made, manufactured, and showcased over here and which is also due for exports. We also look at taking the Feni trade which was there two years back where people wanted to take it to the next level. We will also be sitting with the department and the World uh, Tourism Development Corporation chairman and have a plan ahead to take that Feni trail also ahead. So all in all, as we keep talking to the stakeholders, take uh, more inputs and take the support of the centre and the state government under Dr. Pramod Savan, we will ensure that tourism finds its right destination for the people who would love to come and enjoy and for us having footfalls which would uh, contribute to the economy and the employment of the state. We have met both. I have met the tourism minister.